And welcome to World Health News Today, everybody. I'm Steve Truitt. And I'm Judy Alley. Hope you're having a great morning. We've got a lot of stories to cover a lot this of good afternoon. Ones. We yep. sure do. We're going to begin with a scientific break for though. The vaccine currently used to protect women from cervical cancer may also be used to protect boys and men from certain sexually transmitted diseases. The Gardasil vaccine is used in women to protect against the human papilloma virus or HPV. HPV is one of the most common sexually transmitted diseases and can cause genital warts dysplasia and cervical cancer. Researchers believe that since HPV is sexually transmitted, it might help to slow down STDs in boys as well. The FDA hasn't approved the vaccine for boys or men yet, but an application to do so is in the works. HPV also plays a role in many cancers of the head and neck. Researchers at UCLA Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center think they may know why. They recently discovered a cell signaling pathway that makes these virus related cancers resistant to therapy and more likely to grow and metastasize. The results of our work established that under low oxygen uh, conditions, low oxygen tension known as hypoxia, the presence of HPV, of the human papillomavirus, activates this biochemical signal which in turn turns on genes that enhance the growth of the cancer cell. Researchers say not only do the cancer cells grow faster, they become resistant to therapy. Dr. Reddick says future research will be focused on new treatments that can target or interrupt the cell signal pathway. Steve? Physical